Ms. Williams and I, we both teach science here at Burke, and we went to CDE um, for two days in June. We worked with them from the time they opened until the time they closed, and we rotated to every department that they have, and we got to try on the equipment and go out into the field with them, and we had lots of stuff to bring back to share with our students. So we went ahead in June, and we're setting up dates and times and getting everything worked out in the summer so that once we got to that in class, they would be here as a resource to help teach us as well. Our guys go through their tools, go through the training of, of whatever it is, the safety demonstrations, understanding how to be safe around electricity, what the tools they use to, to climb the poles, to connect the electricity or connect the fiber. And so really answer whatever questions that the teachers have or the students have to, to guide in that direction of whatever they're teaching for right now. We can explain the, the safety aspect of our, and that, that is the, the key, everything, safety first is, is showing how we work on the line safely and show the process of how electricity flows from our lines to your home as well as our broadband services as well. So it's, um, it's full functional. We can show you know, all aspects of our, our, what we do. So yesterday we had our, their arborists come out from CDE and they kind of talked about what they did to keep the trees out of the power line so that they can do their job more safely. So today the students brought in that background knowledge and learned about how they maintain the power lines. Well, we did bring in electricity in the science part. Um, having the arborist out yesterday also allowed us to bring in things with the plant cells and the photosynthesis process. The students are going to have to research trees to see which trees do not grow into the power lines to keep the lineman's job easier. They are also going to do some math with meter reading. They talked a lot about meter reading today, so the students are going to hopefully go home and find their meter and bring in those numbers and we're going to do some comparing that way. When we spent the two days at CD, we didn't know what we were getting into really, but we left with so much appreciation for the business. Neither Miss Williams or I had any idea how much goes on there. Um, we got to visit the room where when the power does go out, they had a big screen and they were answering the calls and everything. They were all so busy in the lineman department, the meter reading department, the billing department. They, they just, they work hard. There is a lot that goes on in this job. I'm sure it's a very stressful job, but they all handled it with ease and they were smiling and they loved their job and they were awesome. It was great to go there and work with them. We love it and it's a, it's a change. It's a change for our employees and for our folks to take a step back and realize they may not think day to day what they do is that important. But when they're sharing it with others, it's, they're able to say, I really do make a difference and I am able to help folks on a daily basis and, and that gives them a, a bit of pride for that. When we were younger, we didn't have utilities come to our schools to show us what they do. To, you know, so with us coming out here talking to the kids, it's, it's giving them the opportunity to see what we do and how rewarding it is when, when you're out there working and the lights, your lights are out and it's cold or storming and when we see the lights come back on how rewarding that is it's, it's just a satisfaction that you get when you do that so to be able to show the kids that this is, job is is not your everyday job it, it's something that that you can go home and be proud of, of doing.